Glad you made it back, everybody, here at the Chris Salcedo Show. One key component to the Biden-Schumer-McConnell omnibus spending bill is a provision that the mainstream media is not going to tell you about. $212 million additional dollars will be given to the Justice Department to probe domestic terrorism and prosecute January 6 cases. Democrats have considered concerned parents at school board meetings terrorists. McConnell and 18 Senate Republicans on board with that. They also voted to prohibit any money from going to secure America's border while dedicating millions to border security of other nations. Let's bring in our next guest, Newsmax contributor and co-host of Wise Guys with John Tobacco, which airs weekends right here on Newsmax, Kara Castronova. Nice to see you, lady. Uh, nice to uh, meet you once again. You know, I found it odd that Mitch and Chuck dedicated no federal dollars to target BLM, and Antifa rioters who plagued America for years, yet millions to come down on trespassers from the January 6th riot. What's your take on, on Chuck and Mitch's priority here? Uh, they have no priorities. Uh, many Republicans are just fed up with Mitch McConnell and where his priorities are. He allowed you know, hundreds, uh, thousands of Americans to believe, be politically persecuted last year. And this year, they're really going to ramp it up with this more, with more spending. They're giving the FBI and the Department of Justice more spending money in this new bill to actually persecute January 6ers even more so. They're planning on more arrests and they're planning to really ramp up the prosecution and really just, uh, it's very un-American and it's political persecution. Yeah, it seems that Mitch McConnell is really hell-bent on punishing all of you folks who, who supported President Trump. Uh, Kara, uh, new revelations from the January 6th investigation. I wanted you to get to weigh on this. A GOP-led report concluded that Ms. Ms. Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi, and her team were, quote, more concerned about optics of having armed officers and the National Guard at the Capitol instead of actually securing that building. And intelligence officers reportedly got warnings about potential problems in mid-December. Doesn't the right. fact that the January 6th committee, headed by Democrats and Democrat supporters like Liz Cheney and Adam Kinsinger, the fact they miss this basic information, doesn't that further discredit the validity of this community, uh, this committee rather? In other words, if they were stupid enough to miss this, shouldn't the rest of their so-called proceedings be suspect? Well, their whole, their whole, the whole uh, select or like we call it the unselect committee was very, uh, you know, it was a joke. And all they did was uh, prosecute Americans and try to just uh, make Trump look bad. If they had done a real investigation, they would have investigated the deaths of four American protesters. And they also would have investigated the security breach uh, and, and whose fault that was, which was, as it, as you just mentioned, now been revealed that Nancy Pelosi was in charge of security operations that day and that the sergeant at arms actually blamed Nancy Pelosi for what happened at the Capitol. So had the January 6th committee actually done its job, they would have actually asked the question, how did this happen and who's at fault, which is Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats who actually excluded Republicans from their meetings prior to January 6th when it came to security. So you can't even blame Republicans there. It would all be at the fault of Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats. And hopefully this year, the GOP uh, now who has uh, control of the House will you know, actually do some investigations into what really happened on January 6th, and not for revenge, Chris, simply because we need to make sure that this never happens again, and really investigate what actually did happen on January 6th, and also investigate the political persecution of it. So hopefully there'll be and, real investigations. Yeah. Not, not for revenge, justice, you know, and isn't it a quinky dink that Nancy Pelosi's leaving, she's leaving leadership She's not leaving the Congress. She's just leaving leadership just as these revelations start to come out. Uh, Kara, finally, the mainstream media is still running cover for the Bidens and the big tech companies. MSNBS and uh, CNN have not covered at all the Twitter files over the last couple of days. Again, this speaks to credibility in my mind. Can Americans safely glean, in your opinion, that left-wing media outlets couldn't care less about preserving our rights, liberties, and protections under the Constitution? Right. So, you know, there, like you just said, there was no mention whatsoever. Of course, that's to be expected by fake news outlets of the Twitter files. Uh, they really aren't making it a thing at all. And it's really some of, the, I think, the biggest news of the past couple of years. Um, they don't care about telling the truth. So it's it's frustrating. The FBI colluded with the social media companies. And I think that, in, you know, I think we really could look forward to the next year with Elon Musk running Twitter. I think there's something going to come out called the January 6th Twitter files, because uh, I've said this before, if somebody just opened the can of worms that is January 6th and the Department of Justice is uh, what they did to American citizens and, and the cover-ups and, and the lies, 
and and everything that went on for the past two years under the, this regime, I, I call the Biden mm. regime, people would be in shock. I mean, it's really not even that much investigating that would have to be done. So I do think that the next uh, thing that Elon Musk is going to release is how people were being censored, like myself, who were speaking out for justice for January 6th and anybody that was there that day, the heavy censorship of those people at the behest of the FBI. Wow. And that is obviously against the First Amendment. You, the FBI should not be telling social media companies who and who not to censor and who not to penalize. That's against our first constitutional. Talk about Talk about flipping that script on the January 6th uh, uh, goings on. Kara Castronova, Merry Christmas. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you.